Hello, in this time, I'm going to show you about how I remember Dessage's this eruption sequence. So, six, number six is a pretty significant in dentistry. Uh, even permanent teeth, the first teeth erupts as, uh, in six years old. And also the Dessage's tooth erupts at the six months, okay? It is not six years. So, central incisor, lower central incisor, it erupts at six and then plus four, okay? So six plus four is 10. So six to 10 months, central, lower central incisor erupts. And this 10 goes to the lateral, okay? So lateral erupts at 10 months and 10 to 16 months. For this time, we add six, okay? Remember, the central incisor, we added four and it became 6 plus 4 and 10, 6 to 10. Now it became 6 to, uh, 10 to 16, okay? And in this 16, you plus 1, and it becomes 17, right? But central uh, canines are related with number 7. Canines are the lucky teeth. If you have canines, you can have a amazing stability in the mouth, and canines are very important. It is the cornerstone of our mouth, right? Because it keeps the aesthetic. And canine, okay? So canine, you think of seven. So 17. And for this time, we add six again. See? So lower lateral incisor and the lower canine, we added six to, and it becomes 23. And now, you, we subtract 3 uh, from 17, the first number, okay? Because it is the same here that uh, this canine, we subtract 3, okay? Then it becomes 13 in the same way, even the lower one, uh, the lower one also, 17, subtract 3, then it becomes the uh, erupting month of the first premolar, which is uh, 14. And here, 14, um, we plus only 4. So it becomes uh, like plus 4, plus 6, plus 6. And of course, it is a plus 1. But here, plus 4 again. Okay? To the last number. To, yeah, so 14 to 18 month, the first molar erupts. And here, we add 5. But since this is the lower tooth, we only add 5, which is like kind of 4 plus 1, 5. This is the like old number, like weird number here, uh, which is uh, different from 4 and 6. But now we add here 5 to this 18 and 23rd to 30 months, about 2 years. So uh, briefly, you can remember that the first molar would erupt around about uh, one year, and uh, this is year, okay? And the second molar usually erupts uh, in the second year, okay? But uh, in accurate way, it is 23rd to 31, even one month short, short to the uh, full one year, okay? So uh, let's review, let's review. I'm gonna delete it, everything and um, Let's go to this uh, blank site. So, uh, what we need to remember when we think of eruption at the, for the first tooth is the six, right? Six months, two, we add four and it becomes 10. Okay, we added four, right? And now we are going to transfer this 10 to the lateral, lat lateral and it becomes 10. And we, for this time, added six, so it becomes 16. And then now we add just to plus one and it becomes, uh, it becomes what, 17? Canine is number seven, right? Number seven is the important number for the canine. And we added here six, so it becomes 23. And now we added somehow, um, no, uh, yeah, 23. And now uh, we, we subtracted minus three, so it becomes, what, 14, and now uh, we added here number uh, 4, yeah, 
and so it becomes 18 okay the first uh, first molar has a short window even though the tooth is big it usually accurately erupts 14 to 18 and now uh, here what we add is the add number 5 which is 23rd 23rd third week uh, it erupts and also and also we add here uh, number 8 which is 31 uh, I didn't mention that we add a second second molar all number 8 okay even the upper one so remember uh, the um, 8 okay so this is the eruption sequence for the lower uh, lower deciduous teeth and let's look at how the upper one is uh, retained in, in our memory by Dr with Dr. Song's style. I don't know whether you are getting it prob but I wish this video can help you and I'm also memorizing as well as I make this video and <laughs> yeah here uh, since upper the teeth are bigger it is 8 it begins 8 and we added 4 here so it becomes 8 to 12 and now the lateral is just right after the central incisor so it is 9 okay and the 9 we added here 4 again okay so 9 to 13 and as as we can see here 7 in this canine uh, we add we add 7 to this number so it is kind of different this one we can we could see number 7 here but here we had to add 7 he on the first number which is 9 so that it becomes the canine number which is 16 you can remember that this is 17 and this is 16 so now uh, maxillary canine tends to erupt a little bit earlier and as the same like the mandibular canine we add a 6 so it becomes 22 months and uh, as the canine we add a 6 to it so yeah, the same and then now we subtract 3 as we also tackled here in the lower tooth it becomes 13 right and then we added uh, six, we added now to uh, 13 6 number 6 okay uh, for the lower one we added 4 because the lower teeth has a narrower narrower window uh, but upper one has a bigger window and then on this six, uh, 19 we add so since the lower one is the uh, low it is a 5 but for this we are adding 6 so if you add a 6 it becomes 25 and 33 okay so two numbers um, bigger comparing to that it has a two numbers uh, less less than you know uh, if you subtract them you will get two so there is a two difference okay difference of two yeah so um, let's try I don't know whether you are getting it <laughs> I wish I I wish I'm not making it more confusing but let's try to review here okay so for the upper one it starts with 8 right 8 so 8 and we added 4 so it becomes um, 8 to 12 and we also added here 4 and the uh, central incisor lateral incisor is uh, one number b bigger and it becomes 13 and the canine we added 7 so it becomes 16 and uh, we added the 6 to it so it becomes 22 and we subtracted 3 to this number and becomes 13 and since the upper one is higher 
it becomes us we added the six unlike the first molar we added four right and here since this is the upper it is a low, higher number we added six again so six six so twenty five two and we added eight and it becomes thirty three oh very good yeah plus eight so central incisor it becomes um, we, we begin with 6 and 10 and the 10 goes to here and it becomes 16 and we added 1 and we see uh, 7 in the canine and it bec we also add um, 6 here, 23 and we subtract minus 3 to this first number it becomes 14 to we add 8 and it becomes 22 and uh, for from here we add uh, we add 5 27 no oh we add sorry we we need to add 4 and it becomes 18 now since it is a lower one we have we had to add 4 and now uh, we need to add 5 and it becomes 23 and we add 8 and it becomes 31 there is a 2 uh, difference difference of 2 yeah so yeah that's it see octrate memorize this <laughs> as it is <laughs> so if you see the uh, diagram of the eruption the lower mandible central incisor erupts first and then upper one and then lateral and then lower lateral and the upper canine and then the lower canine and the no 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 lower molar upper molar and then lower molar and then upper canine lower canine and then lower second molar and then upper second molar so if you draw it it becomes like like this okay so memorize this remember this and the pass the exam all right hope this help you and try to solve this problem within the time the tooth is uh, going all the way here then the answer will be revealed may god bless you hope it helped you